100 meters. And a way they go from the 1800. Banjo on my knee, slow out, and Divine You has gone to Plan C and dropped right out of it early on. Wildlife Safari and Pollard, the first two to dispute the lead. Kentucky Spur looking to settle in. New Stream. Arrows Mark holds position towards the inside. Then we have got the Bayou. Apache 2 is moving around then. There's no speed on. Divine News a little bit keen behind runners. Jack of Hearts at Divine News fierce behind them. Towards the inside, Banjo on my knee. As they sort into racing order, and Apache 2 has realized there's no speed, he's now going to go on by. Apache 2 goes a length and a half at the thousand peg. Jack of Hearts is moving around in the blue. Pollard the green cap, new stream the shadow roll, wildlife safari towards the inside, then we have got arrows mark, Kentucky spur, vitus bearing, the bayous towards the inside, seven lengths off, divine new, banjo on my knee. Out in front is Apache 2 by a neck. The blue silks of Jack of Hearts is going to look to press on. Pollard's towards the inside. And New Stream is just waiting in the slipstream. Two and a half lengths to hunt down. Going to come to the outside. 400 metres to go and Jack of Hearts turn to hit the front. Look right. New Stream. Yellow sleeves and cap is now starting to come forward. Down the inside Pollard. But New Stream with a powerful run at the 200 metre marker. That's the one to beat. The Bayou's trying to close in Jack of Hearts but New Stream keeps them all guessing the last hundred with a powerful sustained win. Jack of Hearts second, Wildlife Safari and Arrows Mark in photos. So the Mark Dixon stable, they can now celebrate for the Kinman Racing Syndicate, the Carlisles, the Byword, Mark Dixon and Keegan de Mello, top of the lane, hooked out, looked good and then came through to win three parts, Jack of Hearts second. Arrows Mark, just ahead of Wildlife Safari, then came the Bayou with Apache 2. The pace was very muddling once again in this contest. Apache 2 eventually picked it up, but New Stream was just waiting in the slipstream and came through with a big thrust down the middle of the course. Jack of Hearts in the blue, Apache 2, Wildlife Safari, and Arrows Mark looking for the gap to the inside, but New Stream becomes a four-time winner. Back to the studio. Oh, well done to the connections of New Stream, Kinmon Stud, Kinmon Stud Racing Syndicate. Uh, well done to uh, uh, Keegan DeMello and Mark Dixon, as well with the son of Byward, a solid horse. And then the, the gentleman that takes care of him is uh, Sitandiwe, a thousand rand from Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Well done, Sitandiwe. Outstanding job. Horse look exceptional. Keegan's uh, got a healthy strike rate for Mark Dixon. We've chatted to him about this relationship a few times. So another winner for Mark Dixon and Keegan. What a day yesterday in Cape Town. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful day. Um, getting on the right horses at the right time. There's some smart three-year-olds around and uh, lucky to be aboard one. Some close finishes as well that went your way? Yeah, very lucky. And uh, on another day, it could have gone the other way. I'm just very lucky to, to have it go my way. And uh, just thank you to everyone for the opportunities once again. Well, you're making Cape Town your home ground. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably spend more time there than... Durban at the moment but uh, yeah it's fun you know it, it, it does take away a lot of family time but uh, we make up for it well you're certainly doing us proud down there Keegan coming back to this individual who you have won on in the past and Mark's got this horse in such fine form yeah um, Mr. Dixon Haley and their team they've done a superb job I rode him earlier on his career and he, he was a real handful uh, and he, he's quieted down a lot so full credit to the team back at home and yeah just very grateful to be aboard him once again I got a message from Mrs. Carlisle it was very emotional this morning for me and uh yeah, Tim, obviously Mr. Carlisle is obviously looking down on us in a nice way. Uh, balance of your rides, anything you can help us with? Look, I thought he was definitely my best. Uh, probably my next best will be Alfonso Spagoni for the, for the same, um, for, the, for Kinemond Racing as well. So I'm just really hoping if I can get a double, I'll be very grateful, but uh, I'll be trying my best. 
keep up the good work, Keegan. Thank you very much. Once again to, to Mrs. Carlisle, Kinemont Racing, thank you very much for the opportunities once again. Very nice to ride another winners in these colours. And uh, to Mr. Dixon, Haley and their team, thank you very much. OK, Mrs. Carlisle, uh, as uh, Keegan mentioned, uh, come through, Mark. Compliments to yourself, your team, Haley, everybody concerned in the yardy. He's a horse that never runs a bad race. No, he's unbelievable, Dees. You know, he's so consistent, always tries hard. And versatile as well, you know, last time over 14. He's not short to speed, this horse, but if you'd run him over further and get him covered up, he relaxes. I think it's the first, he's gone 17 before, but today, you know, he got the 18 easily enough. In the race, I was quite surprised. You know, he never looked like losing. He quickened nicely. Never. I was waiting for something to come and challenge him, and they never did. So, you know, he's, he's, he's a lovely horse. And great thanks to uh, Kin Mountain Racing. And Mary just phoned me. Unfortunately, today, she's watching on her own, but... She knows Avison will be watching up above and he'll be as thrilled as we are. And the grandkids and the son and all, all the guys, you know, they're, they're great people to train for and obviously it helps having a nice horse. But uh, he just gets better and better and ultra consistent. You know, I, I watched him at Scottsville and I thought that that was his favourite track. It's really nice that he enjoys Gravel as well. Oh, well, so did we, you know. We can't wait to get back there, to be honest. Chapter Challenge on the, uh, on the 6th of December, I think. And I believe he might be one of the top of the log now and he'll go into that mile race obviously one of the fancied runners but you know just get today out of the way but obviously you know he as i say he never runs a bad race and he's an absolute pleasure to to train and uh, to have more horses like him would be you know you'd be a lucky guy you touched on uh, mrs carlisle watching back home and uh, keegan briefly spoke about it as well alfonso spagoni for them later yeah a competitive race you know he's obviously a handicap but he's he, he seems very well in himself he's been working really well I, I believe that he's got a good a chance as any um so you know the bit of luck in running I, th I believe it'll be right there did i miss out anything else that you got left no that's that's us just he's the last one well compliments uh, on a great job here mark and uh, long may the hits continue because your stable's in fantastic form yeah no thanks very much Dees. well done mark dixon here with number three news stream and if you caught this quartet 3, 11, 2, and 6 is the way they cross the line.